All right, YouTube, today we're gonna add base shakers to the couch in this home theater. Uh, I've got the 4K projector, projects up on the uh, eggshell wall. We've got Dolby Atmos, we've got uh, nine channels of audio. We got the two front speakers, the center channel, uh, the four, I call them Atmos speakers in the ceiling and uh, the two rear channel. And we also have a 15 inch subwoofer in the back. So what we're gonna do is uh, mount a couple of boards on the bottom of this couch and put the transducers here. And I have four of them. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four transducers. And the equipment I have is uh, these uh, bass shakers uh, by Dayton Audio. And uh, this is the actual transducer. I have four of these and they need to get bolted on. Uh, those boards I'm gonna install so it's a very solid mount. And then it came with this amplifier and uh, I'm gonna wire them just like the book says. Um, they're, they're four ohms each, so if you put two of them in series, you get eight ohms. So this would be an eight ohm combination, these two, and these two would be an eight ohm combination. Then you put the two eight ohms in parallel, you get four ohms. So <clears throat> I will do that and then hook up the uh, four ohm output to this uh, bridgeable output here. Uh, the, I put this right on top of my old subwoofer, so the uh, subwoofer in will go here, and then this will feed my current subwoofer. So this goes to the audio receiver, and this will go to my current subwoofer. So it should be a pretty straightforward installation. First thing I'm going to do is cut some boards. I measured uh, two of the couch sections will get eight inch by 21 and three quarter. I use three quarter inch wood. And two of them will be eight inches wide by 28 and three sixteenths. So let me go ahead and cut those boards and install them. All right, I've got all four of the boards cut. So what I'll do is I drill three or four holes on each side and uh, put in wood screws. I think that should hold it um, on both ends on all four boards. This one happens to be three quarter inch birch plywood. Good and strong. All right, the base shaker is firmly secured to the board with these uh, number 10 wood screws, three quarter inch, the wood's three quarter inch. So now I'll put the four number 10 screws through the frame of the couch into the wood on each side, four on each side. That should firmly secure it. Okay, got all four of them mounted. Nice and strong, solid. I'll mount this one in parallel with this one this one in parallel with this one, and this set in series with this set. And then I'll mount them to the uh, <clears throat> amp. Okay, this concept was new to me. Um, if you're just hooking up one set of speakers, which ultimately I'm doing, it's two in parallel, two in series, two in series, and these two sets in parallel, still end up with four ohms. So where do you hook it up to the amp? Well, you hook it up to this thing called bridge, which is the plus and the plus, and you just leave the two negatives unhooked. And that'll give you the full power of both amplifiers built inside this box. I just took the cover off and took a look at it. So you hook it up here, in here all right job done got the uh, transducers installed in the couch I wish I could demo it for you but they work great and the ladies like it too so good job done and uh,
Thanks for watching.